Hello and welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, this is a game that I've been playing for a while uh, and I thought that I might as well uh, upload it to YouTube for your enjoyment. Uh, this is a uh, naval combat game, uh, mostly tactical, but there are some strategic elements to it as well. So, as it said, it's Dreadnought, so you can play the uh, campaign in different dates, uh, starting dates. So the first date is 1890, then there's one you have once you've uh, beaten that campaign, you can then start in 1900, and then when you beat that one, you can start in 1910, and so on. And I think it goes up to uh, uh, World War II. So I've already uh, uh, completed the first two campaigns, so uh, this campaign I've already started in 1910. Uh, so this is the <coughs> basically the strate strategical map. Uh, I'm playing as the German, German Empire, and we had the British Empire. Um, these are the two nations that are in the game right now, but in the next uh, update, several new uh, nations will be added. I think France and uh, Austria, Hungary, maybe Italy. I know that this gonna, uh, the map is going to open up more uh, in the Mediterranean, so it's going to be interesting. Um, anyway, we have, uh, these are our ports, uh, you can see the port capacity and the strength of the fleet uh, or fleets we have based at the ports. Uh, I might show you, this is the, you have to manage some finances. Uh, basically you have your naval fund and the monthly balance. Uh, as you can see here I'm increasing my uh, shipyard size to be able to big, uh, build bigger ships. Ships with bigger displacement. Uh, we have crew training at max, tech budget almost at max, and transport capacity at max. And this is basically uh, uh, convoys transporting goods, uh, which means that, uh, as it says, it will uh, impact. Uh, the economy of uh, your country so I'm not it's not really super well explained but um, it's good to have a uh, max close to max uh, this is the research tab as you can see there's a bunch of different uh, research um, options for guns projectiles damage control you name it there's also submarine and naval tactics which and naval tactics, which are not implemented fully yet, so there will be submarines in some point in the future. Uh, here's an overview of my fleet. I have uh, quite a few different ships. We'll go through them later. And this is the real uh, draw to the game. You can actually design, design your own ships. So you can design uh, Battleships, here we go. We have the there's different holes. This is the dreadnought one. Can displace up to twenty-five thousand tons. Small dreadnoughts, battle cruisers, armored cruisers, semi -ar arm armored cruisers, light cruisers, destroyers, large torpedo boats. So there's quite a few new hol holes uh, as I'm playing in nineteen ten. Uh, compared to in 1890 where there's basically very few holes and no real super big battleships so uh, so yeah you can design your own your own uh, Navy basically uh, and I've already done that here's my uh, error mount one oh that's weird shouldn't be an error let's uh, let's do this uh, we can view it like this. Error mount one, huh? That's not good. Uh, there wasn't an error when I saved this design. That's kind of weird. Might be a bug. Okay. One of the funnels. Uh, let's ignore that for now. We'll see if there's uh, an actual problem in game. So this is my. Uh, 
battleship or dreadnought. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different stats. Uh, it's a really detailed game. Uh, well, let's take a look. We have uh, two times two. F so let's see, we have uh, four turrets. Sorry, five turrets uh, with uh, two 30.5 centimeter guns. Uh, which are, I believe, the best. No, I think there's actually a 33 centimeter gun. So these are not the the biggest uh, guns, but there's quite a few towers. So this is loosely based on uh, some early German dreadnoughts, uh, but nothing in particular. Um, so it displays this. Let's see. 25,189 tons, so very close to the maximum, but not not really, uh, not exactly. Uh, so we also have 14 of these 15.2 centimeter guns, which are mounted in these casements. Uh, kind of an outdated design, but there you go. To give it some firepower against uh, smaller ships light cruisers and uh, torpedo boats and the like. Uh, it has a decent range and range is basically your power project projection <laughs> power projection um, which means that you will be able to intercept or interdict enemy ships and uh, convoys and such at a greater range uh, and I also believe that your nation can actually be uh, uh, be blah blah blah. Uh, ah, lost the word. Ah, you can yeah. Your your country can you can come under a blockade, so you'll basically lose uh, finances and you'll lose your uh, <clears throat> transport ships. So we can do twenty two point three knots. I'm not sure if that's good in this era or not. Uh, since there's no way to look at the enemy ships, so I, I can't really compare them to anything. Uh, but I think that should be okay. We have a few bulkheads, uh, ramped quarters for the crew, which isn't uh, obviously not the best, but um, fuel, semi oil, uh, natural boilers, turbine engines, auxiliary engines. As you can see, there's a bunch of different things. Now I can't uh, look at the options here because uh, the design is finalized, so when you actually save a design you cannot change it. Um, but I know that they, the developer or developers will add so that you can refit your ship, so basically you can fiddle around with this class and then save it as a, basically a new, a new design or whatever. Um, hydraulic advanced hydraulic turrets, we have rangefinders. None of these acoustics and radio, none of these are available in uh, the 1980 campaign. Um, here you can see also we have the Krupp uh, steel, which is very good armor. Um, the main belt of the ship, which is along here, uh, is protected by 36 centimeters of steel. And then we have the fore belt, which is basically this part right here is uh, 12 centimeters and it's a little bit less no it's actually 12 centimeters at the aft as well okay the main deck uh, protected by 10.5 centimeters and the fore and aft decks are protected by 6.2 centimeters of armor and then we have the conning tower which is uh, this thing uh, the citadel where the captain and the officers are, most of the officers anyway, and um, the superstructure, uh, which is, I don't know, the funnels maybe, maybe some of this armor, I'm not sure. Um, and the turret armor, the big turrets, are protected by 32 centimeters on the sides, uh, which I believe is also the front, there's no, there's only side and top armor, so. 9 centimeters on top, and then we have the casemate guns. 10 centimeter side, 9 centimeter top. Um, 
So it's okay balance. Stability is 61, which isn't the best, but it should be uh, should be workable. Uh, hull forms pretty good. Uh, it has to do with the maneuvering of the ship, how good it can uh, maneuver. And we have the resistance, which is 99, which is pretty high, which is good. Keep it uh, afloat. Uh, even when suffering damage, well, you can actually do this and you can see all the guns where they're at. Well, anyway, that's the battleship. We also have the heavy cruiser or armored cruiser. Uh, see, it says error on this one as well. That's weird because when I placed them, there was no error. There an error on every ship? Apparently, there is. Uh, that's not good. Oh, uh, it just disappeared. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but... Anyway, here's our... Uh, uh, armored Cruiser, Heavy Cruiser. Uh, Prinz Eugen. I kind of based this a bit... Uh, on the Deutschland class. Uh, so the World War II Graf Spee. Uh, for example, these kind of pocket battleships as they call them. So it's uh, quite fast, 28 knots. It has a long range. Um, but it doesn't have all that much armor and so we have to be a bit skimpy on the armor. Uh, but it also has uh, pretty big guns. 25.4 centimeter guns. Um, two turrets. Let's see if I can uh, find that thing. Like the wood, you can where you could highlight the guns. Doesn't seem like. Oh, here we go. So we got ten of these 12.7 millimeter centimeter guns. Um, we have two 22.9 uh, centimeter guns in the front turret, and we have heavier guns in the back, two 25.4 centimeter guns. So I kind of went with bigger guns, less armor. Um, and as I said, 28 knots, so it's it's pretty damn fast. Uh, yeah, and here's a light cruiser. And there's obviously errors everywhere. Let's see if I can... Yeah, nope. Okay. I don't know what that's about. There wasn't any errors when I actually built these things. Um, light cruiser, speed of 29 knots. We have... Let's see if we can find that thing again. So we have two 15.2 centimeter guns, one in the front and one in the back, which are a bit heavier. <clears throat> and we have 10 of these 12.7 centimeter guns and two underwater torpedo tubes. Um, so under the hole there. So it has a pretty good broadside with the small guns, and this is basically. The light cruiser, uh, I used them to attack uh, enemy uh, convoys and uh, of course smaller like torpedo boats, uh, stuff like that. Not meant to go up against the big boys. And lastly we have our, uh, this is a torpedo boat, large torpedo boat I think. It's quite heavily armed when it comes to torpedoes. Uh, it has a rack of three torpedoes in the front and one in the back with two torpedoes so that's quite quite a few torpedoes compared to what the enemy usually has so and we also have some protection from a what's that a 12 point or is that 15 no it's gotta be a 12 points yeah 12.7 centimeter gun um so yeah there you go that's i don't know what's up with these errors as i said there were no errors at all when i uh, designed these, so don't know what that is about. Uh, it doesn't seem like it has affected anything uh, stat-wise with the ships. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, that's the designer. Done with that. You can see the uh, list of uh, designs. This is also where you can build ships. Uh, currently, 
I don't think I am building any ships. No, I'm not. So here, basically, you can set your uh, uh, ships how you want them to to um, to be. I, bas uh, I guess they can be in being, which means they are in port, and I believe that that means that they can actually uh, get into battle if the enemy attacks your port, which will happen. Uh, and sea control, which means they're out to sea, uh, protecting convoys and whatnot. So I have all my ships in the North Sea. <clears throat> I haven't really seen any good reason to protect the Baltic Sea. I guess we have some ports here, but they're empty, so the enemy might attack them, I guess. But I usually never have any ships in the Baltic Sea. Uh, these red lines, these are enemy ships, so the enemy are moving ships. He's moving six uh, destroyers from Portsmouth to Yarmouth. Yarmouth? Uh, four battleships, right? And here you can see basically the uh, the navies. So I have nine battleship, uh, the enemy has seven, I got 14 heavy cruisers. The enemy has four battle cruisers and 14 heavy cruisers or armored cruisers. 21 light cruisers, so I have 25. Um, the enemy has 25 of these large torpedo boats, I have 35. So the British have 71 ships in total, and I, ha I have um, 83, so I have a numerical advantage. I don't know how uh, good the enemy ships are though. So it's February 1910, um, you start in January, so yeah, the first uh, uh, the first turn or month you spend on uh, buying ships and then you just get them instantly because that's your starting navy. You can have the AI kind of generate your navy, but I've found that that's not really the best way of doing things. Uh, but anyway, let's jump to the next turn. Um, okay, so we lost one transport ship in the North Sea. The British lost two transport ships. So this is basically, it just happens. I don't know if the submarines will uh, play a role in this. Uh, there's no combat, it just it just happens. So no combat uh, combats at all this month. Uh, let's see, can we push up our tech budget perhaps a bit more? Yeah, I think naval funds we have 65 million, so should be okay. Uh, nothing. 11 months for less engine weight. That's good. So you can assign these um, priorities, but basically, if you assign one, then it it reduces the or it slows down all other research. So I usually only put one. Uh, oh, we actually have cruiser design in two months, so we'll get uh, 11,000 ton light cruiser. Oh, okay, so we'll get that pretty soon, so that's a new uh, cruiser design. There's a new type of hull. Okay, uh, obsolete hulls, light cruiser 1, semi-armored cruiser 1, armored cruiser, okay, so we get some new stuff. Oh, we're getting a battle cruiser. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, nothing really more to do. Don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna lay down any more ships, so let's jump to the next month. And here we go, we have a battle. Okay, so it's a battle between uh, two battleships. We have uh, my battleship, Friedrich de Grosse. Uh, 25,200 tons versus the British uh, Cornwallis, 23,996 tons. So we do have a heavier ship, but that's not always uh, an advantage. So let's fight. You can auto resolve or do the battle, and we, of course, are going to do the battle because that's half of the game. <laughs> Uh, yes, so here we go. I'm gonna pause the game. I'm already hearing some gunfire. So here we are in the uh, 
out in the North Sea, so you can move the camera around, pan it, and do whatnot. This is my ship. Uh, and over here, somewhere far away, I yeah, see the enemy has already fired the first volley. So they probably spotted me before I spotted them. Uh, so interesting to see. Mm, it's got a lot of guns. Interesting design. Oh well, look at that, he actually has smaller guns on top of the bigger ones. I didn't know you could do that. That's interesting. So this is the first time I see uh, <coughs> the British uh, battleships for this period. So we'll see how we fare. Let's unpause the game. There we go, we're also firing. Uh, so you can see the hit percentage. Uh, I'm gonna make it. There we go. Uh, so to the left, you can see the hit percentage with all the different. Oh shit! He actually hit. It didn't penetrate the armor, but it caused a fire. Oh, that was a lucky hit, I guess. Yeah, basically we have a chance of 0.5% to hit. There we go, getting more than one turret into the battle. He also fired, here we go. That was a miss. So, with battleships you... You want to keep a steady course and a steady speed. Uh, so actually now I'm going a bit too fast um, because you have a um, specific speed at if you're going at that speed you get a large bonus or a pretty good bonus um, when firing your guns so it's basically a stability thing he is really far away Let's see okay so he's turning his broadside to to us So I don't know, actually, if I want to turn my broadside, I don't know how good uh, firing capability he has. I can actually take a look. He has a 2.4 percentage to hit. I have a 1.5, so actually he has a bit better. Okay, so let's turn our broadside. Obviously, we present a bigger target. Is that a hit? We present a bigger target for the enemy, but we can also bring more guns into the fight. And he is also a big, bigger target. He does have a lot of guns. So we can actually use... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in a broadside. I cannot... well, yes I can actually. 1, 2... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. So we're basically, uh, um, boom, boom, boom. we are basically equal in terms of firepower, uh, at least in long, long range firepower. So I want to make sure that I can bring all my guns to bear. Don't need to turn that crazy. Obviously, you can speed it up, uh, which is uh, a godsend in some s situations. Right now, I kind of want to take a look. Battleship uh, fights are always uh, interesting. So you can barely see him on the horizon. Still haven't identified it. Some close hits, but. What's our hit percentage? 1.4. It's not not too good. But we are getting our own crew speed bonus up, which is good. So we're doing 18.8 .8 knots out of... I set it to 18.4, but we might as well get it down to 17.9 knots. We'll see if that gives us a better bonus. And of course... Uh, there's a bunch of different uh, modifiers, uh, as you can see to the uh, left. 
Just maneuvering, range finding, the weather, uh, crew training, hull stability, a bunch of different things. Ooh, okay, we got a hit, but it, it was blocked by the armor, so we are good. Would be nice if we could, look, we would be able to like look, uh, or, like binoculars or something. So this is a problem with the smoke actually covering the rear tower. Uh, that's not good. That reduces visibility quite a bit uh, from the rear, rear tower anyway. Kind of wanna try to avoid that if possible. Okay, so we still haven't gotten a hit. Ooh, ah, those were close. That's not good, so I think he has a better... Doesn't actually have a better hit chance to hit. So I think he might have actually gotten some lucky hits. I kinda wanna have him identified so I can check out his uh, what guns and uh, armor he has. So these long range fights. Pretty awesome battleships are awesome. They were at least one time in history Ooh, we did hit okay so we penetrated his hole and we damaged his funnel uh, and we can see by the icon here he's on fire uh, we could actually tell right here several more hits we knocked out a casement gun more fire it's like we hit the conning tower uh, just below it Got some f fire in front of his uh, front turret, which is good. So you can uh, have flash fires and uh, stuff like that if you hit the uh, magazine, uh, the ammo, ammo magazine of the ship. That sounded weird, but. So pretty slow going fights, but these large guns, they do pack a punch. Okay, so he's almost uh, identified. So once he is, we can kind of check him out, see what kind of guns and armor and uh, all other different attributes of the battleship class, the enemy battleship class. So it seems that we actually have a better... No, he's got a good chance of hitting. I'm trying to... Okay, here we go. So we have actually uh, identified the class. So he has one... Okay, so we have two turrets with uh, 33 centimeter guns. Uh, three turrets with uh, some more 33 centimeter guns and a bunch of 17.8 centimeter guns. Oh, those are the ones on top of the... Kind of hard to see with all this firing going on. Um, so he's got a bunch of... Let's see his armor. His armor is actually... Pretty close to my design. Design. We do have a... A thicker main belt. What about his turrets? 29.8 My turrets have... 32, okay. So, uh... Quite a bit of difference there. Uh, this is kinda cool, you can see the damage on the enemy ship. You can do the same for your ship, of course. Uh, and it would actually... It actually shows where the guns are pointed, or when they're turning and stuff, it's pretty cool. Uh, so he's taken some structural damage. 
Got a penetration, but he has not suffered any flooding. Ooh, that's that's a big. I think we can still. Yeah, we could shoot him with all our guns. Or full broadside. We're getting kind of close. 3.9 kilometers. So our secondary guns have even started firing at him, so. They probably won't do much. This is a uh, big guns. Uh, but actually, hit him again. Partial penetrations. We destroyed something. Uh, we destroyed a uh, barbette and a main gun. A broadside, though. He's not having much luck with his. Uh, but it's firing. I actually want to pause the game. Oh, look, we knocked out one of his towers. Or front towers, so that's... That's very good. We knocked out this gun. This game is cool because you can see exactly where the damage is, where the penetrations are. It's all modeled, which is really cool. There's our secondary guns, they can't really penetrate. They might start a fire though. If they are firing uh, heavy explosive ammunition, so I think if nothing really bad happens, that we might win this fight. So he is turning, and I kind of want to keep my broadside. The thing is, though, if we turn, we will lose some accuracy. Oh, we got a partial pen. Fire. Nothing more than that. But how fast is he? 21, 21 knots. We can do 22.3, so definitely got an advantage there. Okay, so I think we need to start turning just a bit to keep the broadside going. Partial penetration. So we haven't suffered any flooding, some structural damage, but no, no, uh, no guns, no nothing. But we're doing pretty good, doing better than him. Oh shit! He hit the main tower, but that was only with a smaller gun, so didn't do much damage. Yeah, we're getting pretty, pretty damn close for a uh, battleship fight, but makes it easier to hit. Let's see if we can sink this son of a bitch. Partial penetration, we'll destroy another main gun. Uh, this one. And his, his engine is damaged, which is good, so he'll be slower, obviously. Partial penetrations, I think my ship is actually firing heavy explosive shells, which is kind of weird, but I think partial penetration. Uh, sometimes that is needed, but I would assume that he would be firing armor-piercing shells, but that doesn't seem to be the case for some strange reason. You can choose, uh, manually choose what shells to, to use. The AI usually does a good, good job of it. And I can see he is also firing heavy explosive shells. You can see by the color of the um, the tracers, it's yellow, I think it is, heavy explosive, or I'm pretty sure. Let's do a bit more maneuvering to keep the broadside, obviously we are, looks like we are overtaking him uh, because of his engine damage. 
damage like the engines and flooding and fires can be uh, uh, repaired or fires can be put out and you can stop the flooding so there's uh, automatic damage con damage control from the crew partial penetration so he actually has uh, heavier guns or larger guns than my battleships but it seems like it doesn't make that much of a dif that much of a difference penetrate his second tower needs on fire we are also on fire but uh, pretty limited fire we have engine damage as well yeah I don't really like to be this close this isn't really a optimal battleship fight it's close ranges but uh, see we only have 9.2 percent penetration so maybe let's switch to armor piercing rounds and see if that does any difference If we can score a hit. Partial penetration. I think the what might happen with the armor piercing shells is that they will uh, over penetrate which isn't uh, isn't all that good. You don't want it to over penetrate you want it to uh, penetrate but do all the damage on the inside without going through uh, to the other side of the the hole oh I see we get some ricochets so I guess partial pen so that might be why the AI AI is shooting heavy explosives uh, is there no way to tell It says penetration, but it doesn't say is this for the heavy explosives. Let's see, 1.8 centimeters. Let's try and switch. Doesn't seem like I, I can actually uh, see the penetration of the heavy explosive shells. Somewhere. So we're taking some damage, but we're still kicking nothing major I think we might want to stop turning get that accuracy bonus up again uh, he is taking quite quite some structural damage actually so I think we are uh, yeah we are definitely scoring more hits on him than he is on us so he's got several engines damaged and he is on fire quite badly oh that's a big broadside oh no he destroyed one of the main guns so the front turret is out so we are a bit uh, equal in terms of number of guns we can bring to bear the fight. So I actually want to check something out. We can look at the log. Uh, can you scroll? Don't think you can. Uh, but let's see. So we hit the main gun. Partial penetration. Doesn't say if it was hit in the top or side hmm okay kind of wanted to see if it was the side armor that was breached or if it was the uh, top armor of the turret he has a decent percentage to 
percentage to hit. Uh, wonder if my that uh, hit in the turret. Well, it doesn't seem like the hit in the front turret was uh, the front mast. I guess doesn't seem like it is actually uh, having any negative effects. I don't think it penetrated, so that might be it. So let's speed this up because I want to kind of. Uh, Destroy the casemate gun. Destroy another casemate. So he is. Uh, it's not in good shape. We are definitely in a better shape than he is. This video is probably going to be a bit longer than I uh, wanted it to be, but. Partial penetrations, we still haven't fixed our engines, he has not fixed any of his engine damage. Uh, not getting a lot of hits. Battleships don't have smoke screens, no. Light cruisers, torpedo boats and this... Uh, and such have uh, smoke screens you can use. He is scoring some hits, but uh, not doing a lot of damage. Oh, so he uh, all of his three engines are damaged, so he's basically going to be dead in the water. So that would make him easy pickings. He is doing more... Maybe not. I was gonna say he was doing more damage with his penetrations, but uh, I don't think he is. Uh, he's in bad shape. I think he's trying to get out of the fight. Yes, he is. But he's going to be extremely slow. And none of his uh, engines are working. I don't know, he might have more than three engines, I guess. Uh, it doesn't say here. So, uh, we could withdraw from the fight uh, and, you know, the damage to the ships have to be, uh, the ships have to be repaired, and which could take months. Um, oh shit, we actually lost two turrets. That's not good. Obviously, we could try to sink him, but uh, that will probably cause us more damage than good. So, we might pull out of this fight actually. So, we actually have less guns than he has. Uh, so we don't really need to sink him. He doesn't have any flotation damage or flooding, so it's gonna be hard to try to sink him. I don't know. Might not be worth it to risk our battleship. I mean, he has more... Uh, he has a lot more damage to repair than... We do. He's lost his rudder. Partial penetration again. Yeah, I guess we'll let him uh, slide, slide away. Can still do some firing at him while he's uh, trying to get away, so we can end the battle if we want to. And I think that's what we'll do. There we go. So it was a victory for war for uh, my side. Uh, we got 91 victory points. He got 38. Obviously, they're still firing in the background for some reason. 
so you can see the damage and the damage dealt and received there's a lot of different things uh, we can take a closer look at that at a later later video uh, so that was uh, the first battle so uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video uh, I really like this game it's a lot of fun so I guess I'll continue uh, with the campaign and uh, upload the rest of it um, so yeah thank you very much for watching uh, and I'll see you in the next video